Welcome everybody, my name is Juan and today I'm going to show you how to scrape data using Google Sheets. What I have right here is data. This is from a public site and it is Toastmasters data. It's one of my hobbies. If you know what this data means, I think you're going to have a great time watching this video. If not, that's more than fine. It's data with some club information. But what you have to know is that this is any table. Web pages like Wikipedia also have some tables in their articles and maybe the CRM system of your company or who knows. In the internet, you can find a lot of information displayed as a table. In Google Sheets, there is a very easy command with which you can scrape this data. And the command is called import HTML. As you can see right here, there are some other commands that start with import and they do something really similar, but today we're only going to focus on this one in particular. Like any spreadsheet formula, it's asking you for some arguments. The first one that it's asking you for is the URL. I'm going to copy it here and paste that inside of quotations. Then it's going to tell me what exactly do you want me to query, a list or a table. Lists are kind of difficult and <clears throat> in my personal experience, most of the information I've described with Google Analytics has been tables. But if you find a really good use case for lists, please let me know. And then they are asking you which of all of the tables in a web page do you want? If you're lucky, the web page only has one table and then your life is going to be easier. But in a lot of cases, like here, there are a lot of tables in a web page. If you're very savvy with web design and if you have some understanding of HTML tags, you could potentially right click on the table, click your means. Uh, you can maybe let's click control F, uh, right table, and this is going to show you all of the possible tags that are named after a table. Here we see that this web page has eight of them. Like I mentioned, if you're savvy with HTML, you can probably find out just by looking at the code which table it is. But I guess for most people, this is going to be a matter of trial and error. You could potentially just go through all of the eight tables. Second one, it is not. I know from experience that it's table number six, the one that I need. But you never know. I personally need to give my spreadsheets a proper name. So I'm going to call it like this. Uh, the sheet name, I'm just going to call it like that. Now we have a clear uh, spreadsheet with some information about groups. As I mentioned, the use cases for this formula are endless. Uh, it's completely up to you which ones you would use. It's interesting to mention that this data is not solidified. It is just the product of this formula right here. This is great news because it means the next time that you open this uh, spreadsheet or the next time that you tell an application to open it, it's going to query the data once more. And every time you see it, it's going to be fresh data. Of course, if the web page changes, there is a chance that your formula is not going to work anymore. But I guess it's a risk worth taking because this is a very simple way of scraping data and I guess web pages don't change that often. To recap, uh, in this tutorial, I show you how to use the import HTML to get a particular table from a web page. I iterated manually and I found that it was the sixth uh, table. And sometimes it's going to be very straightforward. There are a lot of sites with only one table, but sometimes you will going to have to um, do it. But I think it's definitely worth it and I wanted to share this trick with you. I hope you guys learned and I'll see you next video.